round of applause to John Reese. If you remember what we were told about the reasons why we should support the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, if you listen now about the reasons that we are told why we should support an attack on Iran, there was one reason which we heard over and over again. It was this. We have to attack these countries because the people in these countries suffer under such tyranny that it is only with the help of the West that they can achieve change. Well, the Egyptian revolution is the standing condemnation of that argument. <laughs> because here is a people who without the bombers and the bullets the tanks and the soldiers of the United States or Britain or any of the Western powers pulled down a 30-year dictatorship on their own. And I will tell you now why even after a year's still further struggle, there is not one single Egyptian revolutionary who will ask for support from the United States yeah. or military assistance from the United States and it is this they are still being shot down in the streets by Egyptian soldiers who are using American bullets and American weapons so why would they ask for help from their killers? Yeah. Uh, this is a lesson which applies universally, universally in the Middle East. Promise. The people who want reaction, the people who want dictatorship, the people who want to loot the countries of their resources, these are the people who want foreign intervention. These are the people who will carry out the foreign intervention. And after they are finished, the resources of these countries will not be in the hands of these countries' people. They will not be democratically controlled by the people of these countries. They will be controlled by the masters of the people who will be working in this building. So my experience in Egypt leads me to this conclusion. Ordinary people have the capacity to deal with the dictatorships. They have the capacity to go on fighting week after week, month after month, to get democracy, to control their societies, to abolish poverty, and they will not stop fighting until they get it. Our business, the business of people who live in this country, is to make sure that they have the space and the freedom to do it. Our business is the business of keeping our government off the back of the people in the Middle East and giving them their chance to achieve freedom and democracy for themselves. Don't attack Iran. All power to the Arab Revolution. Thank you very much, John.